In times past, corporal punishment was used in putting students or pupils in check when they flout any school rule in Ghana. The Ghana Education Service, however, banned the use of corporal punishment, including caning in schools, in line with the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, which was ratified in Ghana in 1990 and the Children's Act in 1998, Act 560. The directive was reiterated and emphasized by the service about four years ago and some teachers and schools were found to have been flouting the rule. When the news team visited some basic schools in Accra, many of the teachers of schools were adhering to the directive but raised concerns over how the absence of the cane makes students misbehave. Children nowadays are stubborn. If you tell them not to do this, that is where they will go. And so preventing teachers not to cane our children, I don't think uh, we, the parents, we are happy. Some of the disciplinary methods are maybe they will tell them, force them, speak to them, direct them. But at the end of the day, that methods are not working. Because if a child is not seeing any cane, or any serious punishment, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't uh, apply to whatever the teachers are telling them. Somewhere, however, in full support of the ban on corporal punishment, noting that the cane rather does more harm than good, while other disciplinary measures help in putting students in check. Caning the child always, sometimes rather spoils the child. When a child misbehaves or you are teaching the child and the child doesn't take it in, it is not all about beating the child. There are ways that you take to treat the child. So caning here and there, caning the child, if you don't do this, I'll beat you. If you don't learn, maybe one plus one, the child says ten. Then you get up with annoyance, you beat the child sometimes. You hear the child and you'll be in trouble. So the banning, I think it's okay. Discipline has come down. I've advised the teachers to use other measures. They must not kill, but the kill must be around just for the children to get in mind that if they misbehave, they will be beaten. But they must go by the ban. When we sought the views of some parents on the matter, they shared varied views. I am Bunu Basa Basa. No, be plan man be ba be kasa. Ubu na ni nyansa be ya. Ubu be two times and now I jam. So Ubu Basa Basa dia any then to quad be ba. Nkola no yen timi kan se teachers for no amunya o mobro. We say akola na dia bi wo ho a akola no be ye no. I was say udi aba na ye de etsi ano. Ti yen timi kan se akola no dia ye nya o mobro kra o school. Dibi wo anu ma o mo abon. Wo am bu o mo a o mo nyansa na ye de e ma in TS and San Ken, there is a common because any nice yes, son, yet they are banned, they do training. The GES, however, insists on schools adhering to the rules on corporal punishment. The program officer of the guidance and counseling unit at the GES, Roland Techi, says his unit would create more awareness on the need to avoid the use of corporal punishment in schools and will punish any teacher or school that violates the directive. We realize that three chief or three main violent behaviors were arrived in our school system. One, corporal punishment, two, sexual harassment, and three, bullying. If we are able to do away with these three violent behaviors in our school system, then our children can have the joy who feel comfortable and safe to be in school. Because all the policies and programs and practices of the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education are intended to help that child to develop to his potential and be able to contribute to the socioeconomic development of Ghana.